Hi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the Joolscope user interface running on a Windows 10 PC. I have a Joolscope connected to the PC over USB. When I start the Joolscope user interface, I see the multimeter view. This is a great way to see the current status of your target device. I can see up here that the current that it's drawing in amps, the voltage that's being provided to it in volts, the power in watts, which is the current times voltage, and then the total energy in joules, which is the integration of watts over time. The values here in the larger digits are the mean or average value collected over the last half second of data. The values over here to the right are the statistics also over that half second of data of our standard deviation, min, max, and peak to peak. The joules and energy down here do not have that, but they're useful in other ways. If you perform a test and use Joolscope to capture the total energy just here on the multimeter display, then you can make a change, repeat that test, you instantly now have a way to quantify the amount of change that you made. And that change can be in firmware or software or on the hardware itself. Doesn't matter, Joolscope is able to capture that change in energy. The accumulate button here allows you to accumulate over longer than just that default half second of window. It accumulates until you hit the accumulate window again. This is especially useful for seeing peaks in min, max, or peak to peak. Now this view does have all the advantages of the underlying joule scope sampling rate and the huge dynamic range of current all the way from nanoamps up to 10 amps of joule scope. You would get a lot of benefit though if you see that in real time. So let's check out that in just a second. Before we do though, we'll see some of these menus. Uh, in the joule scope, we have the ability to open and close files that we've recorded. We have the ability to select between multiple joule scopes. Ability to switch our view, we'll check out the oscilloscope default in just a second. Ability to run some tools, we have a USB inrush tool, which I'll cover in another video, a very interesting feature. And we have our about. We're currently running Joolscope 0.1.5, which is an early release of Joolscope. There are a number of features that will be implemented before the official release. I'll point out a couple of those here in the oscilloscope view. Let's switch on over to that oscilloscope view. View, oscilloscope default. And now we're presented with a different display, still taking real-time data from Joolscope. We have our control panel here to control the operation of Joolscope. We have our display of current over time. So this is time on the x-axis, amps on the left axis. We have time on the bottom axis for the voltage and volts on the left side. Let's zoom in and see what's happening. I'm gonna zoom in both to volts using the buttons over here, so click the Y button and then drag, click and drag the mouse to zoom in. And here we can see what's going on uh, with the data we're collecting. I have an Arduino Pro Mini connected as the target and the power supply is a USB to 3.3 volt converter. It's a little noisy and that's what we're seeing here. We have the yellow line is the mean that we're measuring. And then the red lines are the max and the min. These are very useful because each of the pixels here in the display are actually represented by multiple underlying samples. The min and max are the true min and max at the pixel level. So when we're viewing this level, we don't miss any min or max values. Let's zoom in on the X value to see what we're actually seeing and coming off the wire. If I pause this, you can capture, uh, see a capture of the noise that is coming out of my PC. I'm gonna hit play again. Now this is interesting, but it'd be much nicer to actually have a value that was time varying. Well, I'm gonna press the reset button on the Arduino and we'll see what happens. As you can see, there's some interesting activity going on. The program that's running on the Arduino flashes the LED and we're seeing that here. I'm gonna pause our collection use the x-axis to zoom over a range of interest, and then I'll switch over to the y and zoom in on y, and now we can see our captured signal. There's a lot of variation here on current, a little bit on voltage. Uh, the voltage is pretty solid as it should be for a digital design, so I'm gonna close that, and that gives me more real estate, screen real estate, to zoom in on our current. So what we're seeing is the Arduino resetting, coming out of reset, blinking the LED, pulsing the LED, and then going back to sleep. Up here in the display, we have the mean, standard deviation, peak to peak, min and max of the current over the window that's currently being displayed. So that's 3.91 milliamps over this display. 
Let's zoom in on a region. How about this one right here? So what we see here is a small pulse that's coming out of the Arduino. Again, now 3.7 milliamps over this window. And the duration here is very small. Joulescope is sampling at 2 million samples per second. You can see those individual samples. One of the features that will be added soon are markers so that we can individually measure this, just like you would with most oscilloscopes or logic analyzers. Now we can zoom back out and check out the sleep current. I'm just going to zoom in over here. This is our sleep current, and we can measure that just by zooming into that region. Well, that's a very quick demonstration of our user interface. There's another feature that I want to showcase here. If we go into our view tools, we can add in a single value display. Now this is not running until I hit play, but now we have a way of seeing exactly what's happening in the multimeter style view, but coupled with our oscilloscope style view. So if I hit the reset button again, we can now see the variation here and the variation up here. Now we can select any of the values that are in the multimeter for display here, but it allows you to read off specific times just manually. If you find that you're in a sleep current or a current of interest, you can just make take, they make, take that measurement without any additional effort. This concludes the Joulescope 0.1.5 user interface demonstration. I hope you learned some new tips and tricks so that you can better use Joulescope for your application. The multimeter style display provides a quick way of seeing what's going on on your target device, while the oscilloscope style display provides a lot more information of how your device is varying over time. Joulescope will be launching as a Kickstarter soon, and I could really use your support. Check out our website at joulescope.com for more information. You can also sign up for our newsletter at the website. You can follow us on Twitter, and if you have any questions, you can either leave them down below or comments in the YouTube stream, post on Twitter, or reach out to us at our contact page on the website. Thank you for joining.